Here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We've been watching some snow flurries spinning around across southeastern New England throughout the evening. Nothing terribly significant. And I think we're actually going to be mostly dry for a little while before we turn our attention to a potential storm down the road. Let's take a look at what's happening outside right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing some uh, flecks of blue here and there indicating some uh, light flurries in the region. A little batch of flurries coming through northwestern Rhode Island, the Boroughville and Gloucester area. And probably for the next uh, several hours, we've run the chance of a couple of flurries in that that's it. Live City Camp Picture in Providence. Clear skies. There's the State House. Temperature 20 degrees. It's pretty cold. Feels like 7. It feels a lot colder. Wind from the northwest at around 14 miles an hour. Those winds continue to bring down the cold air from the north and the drier air as well. 19 degrees. North Bay and Smithfield. 20 in Johnston. 21 in East Greenwich. Over there in uh, Tiverton. Just clicked up to uh, 21 degrees. They were just down to 20. Temperatures elsewhere in southeastern Mass, 20, 22 degrees. So you get the picture. It's pretty cold out there. Frank Logler agreeing with that statement. High, thick clouds he's reporting. and saying it's pretty cold. Temperature right now of 21 degrees in the city by the sea. Satellite radar combination showing some clouds spinning around a big area of low pressure in the atmosphere. It's going to still be around during the daytime tomorrow. There it is right now, the, the surface area of uh, low pressure. For your Wednesday, we're looking at the winds to pretty much be like they were today. From the northwest, a cold wind direction, especially this time of year. We'll see some occasional clouds and still the chance of a flurry or two, but really not a big deal. So your Wednesday afternoon looks like this, cold and actually more windy than it was today. And that's actually kind of bad news because high temperatures will be a little bit colder. You factor in the wind, it'll feel a whole bunch colder than it was today as well. Partly cloudy skies for the night. Overnight low temperatures, 9 to 17 degrees. At the bus stop, kids are going to want to bundle up with hats, gloves, and definitely that winter coat. Temperatures in the teens, in the afternoon, really not recovering all that much at all. Only about 24, 25 degrees or so on the east side, Rutherford and Pawtucket. Winds will be from the northwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour, a little gusty at times. You factor that in, 25 Riverside and Barrington will feel more like the single digits and lower teens at times. Along the south shore, temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 20s. With a partial sunshine, temperatures in northern Rhode Island around 24 degrees in Chapachet and Woonsocket, southeastern Mass. We're looking at temps to be topping out in the mid to upper 20s, and it'll be dry. Seven-day future cast, still cold Thursday, bit of a warm toward the end of the week. Watching still for that potential of a storm late Sunday and into Monday. We'll be watching that very closely over the uh, coming days. But cold and mostly dry for the rest of the week. Okay, thanks, TJ. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11.